everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-April readings for our zodiac signs. They are general readings, so take it applies. If it applies, get to the curve the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Um, if anyone is going to be in the Connecticut area and around April 28th and 29th, I will be in Connecticut at a psychic fair doing readings um, at a grand opening for a wellness bar. So all that info will be in the box as well, as well as the mystery boxes and pendulums. So this reading will be for Sagittarius. Let's see what's shaking. Hmm. Looks like you want to start something new, Sag. So let's get into it. At the bottom of the deck, uh, we have the Emperor, but he's in reverse. Now, everyone knows I, I start my decks upright, so when they come in reverse, they're meant to be that way. The Emperor in the upright is about structure, it's about stability, drawing a line in the sand where Respect is earned and given. He has firm foundations. He's a successful business person. In the reverse, he could be very attention needy, knows no boundaries, oversteps other people's boundaries. This could be somebody who's unstable perhaps reckless. Hmm. So let's see how that applies here. So Sag, we're going to start off with the two of pentacles, the juggling act, pro and conning something. This could be juggling two people, two jobs, two situations, or trying to make a decision on one. And what's crossing you to help or hinder is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is about reciprocated communication going back and forth, whether it's email, texting, Skyping, face-to-face. -face. Hmm. So, Sag, maybe there's a communication that you need to hear to tip the scales on whatever you're trying to pro and con or make a decision on. Maybe something that turns the emperor upright. Hmm. In your foundation, Sag, you have the world. And this is about closing out cycles and starting brand new ones. New avenues, new adventures, new doors opening for you. Maybe this is what you're pro and conning. If you want to start something new. Or stick with something. Possibility. But what's crowning your whole reading here, Sag? You get the High Priestess. This is about following your intuition, totally trusting your intuition and let it guide you. Not second guessing yourself. She's also the keeper of secrets. So, does she tell everyone her secrets? No. But make no mistake about it, Sag. The High Priestess is someone who knows a lot more than what they say. This very well could be you or somebody you're dealing with. But crowning your whole reading, Sag, I want to make... I'm pretty sure that this is going to be you. Trust your gut. Because if you're trying to make a decision, whether it's two people, two jobs, sticking with something versus leaving something, starting a new cycle... You gotta listen to your gut. And maybe not the rants of other people. Do what's best for you, Sag. Because in your recent past, 
you have the five of cups. This is a card about regrets. Some people say crying over spilt milk, but man, I hate that saying. This guy's devastated. He's on his knees. You know, so distraught about losing three cups. If he just turns around, all hope is not lost, Sag. You still have two cups. And the two of cups in the tarot deck is a connection, a bond you have. So in the past, Sag, that you have... dealt with some sorrow or regrets or remorse and maybe that's what you're trying to leave behind and trying to start something new now going into your future you have the nine of swords and this is a sleepless night thinking about something over and over again till you lose sleep over it sag get out of your head worrying is wasted energy So this is not a small decision like, what, what are you going to wear each day? This is something huge. And I still think it's something that you have to either leave behind or move forward with. Maybe it's that structure, that stability, that respect, Sag, that you are not getting now, but want. Yes under this because I'm nosy I'll look you have the nine of pentacles the I'm good solo card the successful business person Sag maybe trying to get something off the ground it's hard now how people see you in your environment they see you as the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles is the investment card you plant your seeds, you nurture something, you watch it grow, you put all your time, your energy, your love into it. And then when it comes to full bloom, you got to ask yourself, Saj, did you get out of it what you put into it? And would you do it again? So people around you, Saj, see that you're invested in something. And now you're weighing it up. If it was worth your time, your energy, your love. This could be in a work situation, a partnership, friendship, love ship, any ship. Now what's in your environment? You have the King of Swords. You have the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. Okay, this person does not include emotions into their decisions. In fact, emotions take a back seat with them. They don't take their own into consideration, Sag, they're not going to take yours in. But this person is very analytical, very precise, direct and to the point. Do not approach this person with BS. They can see it a mile away and you're just going to agitate them. So Sag, you could be dealing with somebody like this, who's very analytical, or you could start having a clear mind. And making choices that don't include the emotion, the things that include logic. I think so. In your hopes and fears, Sag, it's your card, Temperance. And this is a card of balance. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. Sag, you get your head and your heart on the same page. You'll find that balance. And this being in your hopes and fears and stuff, maybe you're waiting. Maybe you want things to balance out. Things to be even keel again. I think so. Sag, whatever decision you need to make here, Go forward, stay where you are, start something new, stick with the old, whatever, whatever it is. Don't overthink, because this brings you nowhere. Find that balance. 
and be patient. Because your outcome card, Sag, is the Knight of Pentacles. Now here comes that message of the see, hear, taste, touch, prove, believe things. Money? Sure. But it's also the things that have worth and value to you. Now yes, they're the slowest nights of all, but they're coming. They're practical, they're methodical, all I's are dotted, all T's are crossed. So Sag, find your balance. Don't worry, it's coming. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.